How's it going guys? My name is Kyle and I'm going to be showing you how to back up your DVD movies using DVD Shrink and a burning software called DVD Decryptor. Uh, DVD Decryptor is optional if you already own Nero or you prefer to use uh, DVD Fat, Image Burn, or Windows Disk Image Burner, uh, you can use the, those as well. DVD Decryptor just works with DVD Shrink so it, it makes it more automatic. Um, so first we're going to download DVD Shrink and Decryptor. If you head over to dvdshrink.org and then their Downloads tab, go to the very bottom right here. You can download it. There are other places you could download it. Um, it's a very small file. There's then dvddecryptor.org.uk if you would like to use this and then download that as well. Um, should download pretty fast and then just install them. Standard installation, you just hit next. Uh, if you want a desktop icon or whatever, shortcuts, you can do that. Choose where you want it installed. Uh, if you'd like it to automatically check for new versions, I believe DVD Decryptor won't, they're not updating it anymore because they already have a newer software, but so it doesn't really matter what you choose. And then you can run DVD Decryptor. Um, you won't need it right now. So you can, oh, <laughs> don't need to do that. Now install DVD Shrink. Same basic installation. Um, don't really want any of that stuff. Next. Next again goes to the basic installation, accept the terms and conditions, uh, choose where you want it installed. Next again, create desktop icon, again quick launch, same same things, uh, then install, launch DVD shrink. Now what you'll do is you'll put a DVD into your one of your uh, DVD drives and then once your movie is in there you simply open DVD shrink, click open disk, select the drive. I have Noah Bombbox kicking and screaming in there so we'll open it. Open the disk. This should take um, normally a window pops up and it'll take about a minute or two to open the disk. I did this previously so it, it has it saved so it went really fast. Um, here you'll see all the different things that are on the disk uh, such as audio uh, different languages, subtitles in different languages. This one are not specified, but if you go to the extras, you can see that there's French and English. And if you don't want the extra subtitles, you can actually take them off. It'll save you a little bit of room. Um, if you see this green bar, uh, if it's all green, then it's fine. You don't have to take anything off. But some larger movies, you may have to take some subtitles off to fit it. In that case, it'll show they'll be red, and it'll show how many megs you'll have to take off before compressing it. Um, once that's done, it's all open and everything. You can click, uh, simply click back up, and here, what you'll want to change is the select backup target. You don't want it to be a hard disk folder. You actually want it to be an ISO image. And see, um, since we've installed DVD Decryptor you can use the ISO image and burn with DVD decryptor. After it compresses it into an ISO image, it'll automatically open DVD decryptor. Um, but if you don't have that, you don't want it, you can just simply create an ISO image and like I said, use um, Windows Disk uh, Image Burner. That works perfectly fine. Also, if you already have Nero and you purchase Nero and you like using that, there'll be another one that says um, ISO image and burn with Nero. Uh, so we'll just do decryptor for now. You can select where you want it. We'll just put it directly onto my C drive. And then, if you go to the region, you can select the region encoding. Some movies, you won't actually be able to select it, and it will be uh, only region 1 or whatever region it is. Quality options, uh, you can run it in low priority backup mode. Uh, the, run the backup in low priority mode so it doesn't take as much CPU. Uh, it'll take. It might take a little bit longer, but if you want to work on other things, and you don't have that fast of a computer, this this can really help you out. 
you can also set it to shut down because the backup process does take about an hour. It could take up to an hour, hour and a half, depending on the speed of your computer and the size of the, the movie. So if you just want to set it and forget it, you can click shut down when backup is complete. It will automatically shut down your computer after it's done. Uh, and then it just has the, the name. We'll just keep it as kicking and screaming.iso. And then just click OK. Here it has the video preview just like it did when you open the disk. And it's encoding the entire thing. So this, as you see, the timer starts off quite high, but uh, it will reduce down. It should, at least. Um, and this will take some time, so we'll come back when it's just about done. All right, so back again. We're reaching the very end of the encoding. Just a few seconds left. Um, hopefully it's worked out so far for you guys. After this is done, if you don't actually want to burn it to a DVD and you just want to store your movies digitally, uh, this is pretty much all you have to do. It'll end, and if you go back to your C drive, or where I stored it was my C drive, it is right here, kicking and screaming. Dot, and it's a ISO file. So if all you wanted to do was make sure all, uh, your DVDs were stored safe on your computer, just in case anything were to happen to them, if you have kids, the kids could scratch them up or get lent or lost or something like that, you have a backup stored on your computer. Uh, if you want to create a hard backup onto a DVD, then you can use this. These next steps will help you out. So. As I said, DVD Decrypter will automatically open and will automatically load the source uh, is my C drive and it's the kicking and screaming.iso. And what you'll do now is put in a blank DVD. If all you have is one DVD drive, then you'll have to take out the other DVD and put in a blank one. Select the DVD drive that you want to burn to, which is my F drive. I just inserted the blank DVD. Alright, and you'll just click right. And there you go. Uh, this will take a little bit of time. You should see the buffer bar fill up and the device buffer may vary a bit. Uh, this one also, the time remaining isn't all that accurate. Sometimes it'll say unknown for a while, then it'll finally get an estimation. Some interesting things that you can do is, again, you can shut down the computer when it's done. You can delete the image after it's done. This is useful because in the DVD images are about four and a half gigs, so they can be pretty big. Uh, depending on how much space you have left on your hard drive, you may want to just burn it onto a disk and then delete it. And then if you ever need to use that disk, you can just, again, use DVD shrink and back it up onto your computer and rebrand it to another DVD. But if you want to make multiple copies, um, multiple backups for yourself, you won't want to delete the image. But it will automatically delete it after it's done and it won't be on your hard drive anymore. Alright, I'll let this burn and then come back to you after it's done. Okay, so here we are for the last final seconds. 99. Everything should decrease. And it's finishing up, synchronizing the cache right there. And it'll play a nice little tune for us, or it should at least. Alright, operation successful. You can eject the disk, and if you want to make another backup, you simply put in uh, a new one and write again. You just click write one more time, uh, as long as you didn't delete it. If you didn't want to use DVD Decryptor, you can simply go find it on your wherever you sort it on your computer. Mine was on my C drive. You can right-click it, say open with Windows Disk Image Burner. And same thing, just click burn. It's fast, simple, just like that. Um, or if you wanted to watch the DVD straight from your computer and you have daemon tools, you can also mount the image using daemon tools and watch it as if it were a DVD loaded into your DVD player. Alright, well, thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful, and see you later.